also calls for the appointment of an independent monitor and requires all patrol officers and jail personnel to wear body cameras and microphones. Those must be in oh, place within 180 days. The deal comes 10 months after the Justice Department released a scathing report describing Ferguson as a city where, quote, the police department and court operated not as independent bodies, but as a single money-making venture, and where investigators found that officers stopped and arrested people without cause and used excessive force almost exclusively against African-Americans. The city council is scheduled to vote on the proposal next month. You know, uh, Mike, we, um, we often talk here about how cops are unfairly blamed. Uh, and there's sort of this sweeping condemnation of all police officers when 99% of them do a great and honorable job. But in Ferguson... That was a system completely run amok. After years and, and, and years. And, and, and years and years of, of uh, taking advantage. Different forces taking of, over. Of especially uh, black community members. Oh, clearly. And, and w within the next five years, most major departments and small and medium-sized departments across this country, police officers are going to have body cameras. What body cameras do, they do a couple of things. One. They helpfully point out any wrongdoing by police officers, but on the other side, they point out that more nine percent yeah. of most police officers perform their jobs admirably right. and legally. As, as we've been saying here for a year now, the only people that body cameras hurt uh, are bad cops. So